something else. $9.1 billion of paper and printing are specified by graphic designers. And if we go in and tell the printers and the paper suppliers that we're working with that we want better options, we can get better options. We have enormous purchasing power. What we're learning is that we have to design environments where people matter, the users matter. And what better way to do that than in a school? Wrong is an addictive and repetitive story. Right is where the movement is. And we're going to have to take the sum of all of our experiences and our knowledge and then the sum of everybody else's experiences and knowledge and put them into action. I have questions for you. What does sustainability mean to you? Does it mean passion? Is it your passion? Is it how you want to live your life? Does it mean education? Are you going to make it your mission to educate your clients? Are you here to learn more? The truth is that human beings live on a human scale. And I think we forget that all the time when we talk about issues of sustainability and environmental awareness. The status quo is that CO2 emissions increase about 3% every year. So to get to this tipping point, I'm not asking that we go to 50% and 80% reductions in two or three years. What I'm saying is, can you pry out of your personal lives a 3% reduction this year? And next year, can you do another 3%? And that's all we need. Rather than kind of starting in our design studio with our grand idea, what if we were to start at the end? It's not about like, look how crappy my thing was before, and like, wow, look how nice it is now. It's, it's more the idea of making things and creating things. So not the before and the after, kind of the during. It's really important that we stop operating in silos. We're all in silos, moving towards the same goal, asking the same questions, and we need to get on the same page, collaborate, innovate, have dialogue with one another, come together, and move forward. Forget about holding on where we are now, right? Sustainability is all about maintaining our lifestyle into the future, extending our stay on the planet, you know, more or less the way we are. But if you do it like life, you can go way beyond that. You can flourish. You can make more conditions conducive to life. Think about where this product is going to end up when the person stops using it. You've got to think about the end of the beginning. In 2007, there were two organic cotton farmers on 250 acres and it reduced chemical use by 1,125 pounds. But there were 22 basic cotton farmers on 2,000 acres and it reduced chemical use by 7,000 pounds. The structural panel is a recycled cardboard, 100% recycled cardboard, zero toxicity, no urea photomaldehyde, no isocyanates, no phenolic resins, a third the weight of part of the board for the same strength. It's one thing to do communication, but then it's another thing to actually do products and processes and invent them that actually make a physical impact. You can't sow seeds in untilled soil, and sometimes you must let concepts lie fallow as the fields adapt. But during all that, the random and varied dispersal of somewhat wild seeds yields tenacious and wild roots that will take hold and grow in a variety of places. You have a responsible to discuss, to debate, to get involved, to exert influence, and most of all, to vote. Because if you don't vote, if you don't make those choices, who will?